Hi everyone, it's Miss Brenda from Tiny Scholar's World. So I found a worksheet with an insect jar. As you see, the ladybug is already drawn into the insect jar. And we're gonna go around and see what other insects we can find. So remember, an insect has six legs, three body parts, and some antennas. So let's look at the next one. This is a seahorse. And a seahorse lives underwater. So that is not an insect. The next one we have is a dragonfly. Here's the three body parts. And let's count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the dragonfly is an insect. So we're gonna draw a line and put him right in the insect jar. The next is a hornet, a wasp. So let's count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he has three body parts and some antennas. So that's an insect. Let's put him in the jar. The next is a beetle. Here's his legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's his antennas. He is an insect. Let's put him in the jar. The next one is a pig. Do we think a pig is an insect? We know he lives on a farm. He doesn't have three body parts and he only has four legs, so he is not. Now we have a fly. So here's three body parts. One, two, three, four, five, six legs, some antennas. He's an insect. And now we have a bee. So the bee has one, two, three body parts, antennas, one, two, three, four, five, six legs. And this one has wings. So we're gonna put him in the insect jar. Now we have a leaf. And a leaf grows on the trees. The insects eat the leaves but that's not an insect. The next we have a grasshopper. Let's count his legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Body parts, one, two, three. He has antennas. The grasshopper is an insect. Now we have a sheep. He only has four legs. We know the sheep goes on a farm or maybe in a zoo, so that's not an insect. And now we have an ant. One, two, three body parts. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. And two antennas. The ant is an insect, so let's put him in the jar. So let's count how many insects we found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight insects in our jar. Great work, guys. So when you're outside, maybe you can look at some insects and try to figure out what kind of bug they are. Okay, have fun and we will see you soon on Zoom and we miss you so much. Take care.